Hey guys, and welcome to the latest Just The Basics tutorial. In this video, we're going to create the LEGO Movie 2 intro. To do this, we're going to need three programs. The first being Blender. The next one we're going to need is LEGO Digital Designer, a free program provided by LEGO. This program allows you to build whatever you can imagine out of digital LEGO. The third program we're going to need is one called LEOCAD, which will act as a bridge between LEGO Digital Designer and Blender. Basically, in LEGO Digital Designer, I've already designed my logo for the LEGO Movie intro. Now, it needs a little bit of work to be proportioned correctly, but here you can design whatever logo you would like to create. From there, you can go to File, select Export Model, and export your model of choice as an LDRAW file, so that's .ldr. Give it a title and save it in your chosen or desired location. From there, we can go to LeoCAD and select File, Open, and select your .ldr file. Once it's been imported, like mine has, you can go again and select File, Export, and select 3D Studio, choosing to save it in your desired location once again. From there, you can go to Blender and import that .3ds file. For the purpose of saving time, I've already got my model proportioned correctly and imported into Blender. So I'll give a link to this .blend file in the description below. What we're going to need to do first of all is once we've imported our model, is make sure that everything's aligned properly, which I've already done, and then give everything materials. So basically, this model requires, say, four or five materials. I've got a reference image here and I'm going to use this to make sure that my model looks as close as I can get being reasonable so the first material we'll create is this red Lego so a few things you might need to do or want to do like I've done with this model is when importing from LeoCAD just select your desired areas and join them together using the shortcut control plus J another thing you can do if you'd like to is you can go hit tab and select W and remove doubles but this can cause some distortions in the mesh so back to creating our red material let's go to our material tab and change from diffuse to principled let's select a red color dragging it somewhere down here nice and deep red and let's go ahead and just give the roughness something like 0.176 to be precise that works pretty well for me and that's our red material done let's go to grey and do the same thing change it to um, principled give it a grey color just by dragging this down and drag the roughness up to 0.176 now I've named these and that would be a good idea just to make sure you can easily access these different materials now to our white we'll do the same so you get the idea it's a pretty simple process. I'll leave the roughness on this one at zero and now because when I created this Lego mold or when I created this object the two I used some different materials because they are uh, in colors so the Le LeoCAD imported them as three different materials so I have to give them their own unique um, color but that's okay it kind of adds for a cool effect so I'm going to change these all to principle now And I'm going to make them all a darkish blue. I'm just going to I'm just going to give this a render just so I can get the right kind of darky color. Yep, that looks pretty good. Go to the next one, make it about the same, maybe a little bit darker. Finally, go to the third one, and once again the same thing, a darkish kind of blue. Now, in our image, it's actually a plastic color. So to create that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and turn my transmission up to 0.95 I'll just get a rendered view for a moment and we're going to do that for all of them 0.95 and 0.95 okay maybe I'm just going to make them a little bit lighter so they're not so dark it's pretty dark okay that's looking a bit better 
So now let's go and just select our little the here and let's go ahead and give that a um, some material as well. So I've already got my white done and I've done my gray. I've just got to do a light gray one somewhere in the middle. So change the principle and just make that a lighter gray. So I'll give that a render and we look at that. Yep, that's pretty good. Okay, so now what we have to do is position this and give it some lighting. So let's position it first. I'm going to hit Shift A and add in a camera because I don't currently have one. If you already have one, you can just hit Circle and then I'm going to enable Lock Camera to View and I'm just going to try and get this into what I think is something like the position the LEGO Movie 2 logo should be in. Next, I'm going to go down and enable Background Images. I'm going to add in the image that I had already of the LEGO Movie 2 logo so I can try and line it up. Just going to select fit so it doesn't stretch it and yeah 0.5 opacity is fine I can just see that so now let's try and line the, our logo up and you can see I might need to hit R while having my camera selected to rotate things around actually yeah, I'm going to change it to front so that I can see and um, my logo a bit better see how it's lining up so I'm just hitting R and rotating that around Rotating down the Z a little bit, rotating that on the Y, just till it's roughly in the same position. You can muck around with this as well in your own personal time if you like, just to try and get it roughly about where it would look. Okay, let's give that a render quickly and let's just turn the opacity down. Okay, that's pretty good actually that looks pretty good so the next thing we need to do is lighting so with our camera set up let's go ahead and add in some lighting so I'm just going to hit shift S bring my cursor back to center and add in some planes now what I'm going to do with these planes is I'm going to rotate them on the X by 90 degrees scale them up a little bit and then along the X and along the Z and I'm going to give them an emission material if I can find it and select the strength to 5 and these can be really good for adding lighting. But one thing we want to do is just in object settings, I think this is, there's a little cube one. Just go down to cycle settings down the bottom, select ray visibility and uncheck camera. That way they don't appear up in your render. Because we only want them as light source, not part of the logo. I don't see any emission planes in the poster. But what we can do now is start trying to get this lighting right. So first thing we're going to need other than this light, is we're going to need three lights, I think. Let's hit Shift D to duplicate that along the X, rotate on the Z by 90 degrees, and let's try and give our two some nice lighting so that it's got that kind of nice reflective color that the actual logo does. Now that isn't doing much for it just yet. Let's move it a bit closer. Same with this one. Let's, we might need to move them all a bit closer. And I'm just scaling them down. So this is all kind of, you know, the fun, exciting, gets your adrenaline pumping side of Blender, as you can tell. I might just need to move that up. And I might rotate that on the Y. Just so it's... Okay, that's starting to get there. Let's go ahead and rotate that on the Z a bit. Move it along on the Y. Rotate it on the Y. There we go. That's starting to get the style I want. Now, this might be a bit too close. I'm going to move this one back. I'm just going to duplicate this one more time. Hitting Shift D, moving down the Z. I'm going to rotate that on the X, and then rotate that on the Z just to illuminate the movie part of our font logo. Okay, that's starting to get the look I want, I think. The only thing is, it's a bit bright up top. So one way I got around that is I just added a plane, or in this case I'm just going to duplicate this one, and I've just changed the material on this one to just uh, completely black 
emission shader and just to stop light reflecting too much off the white part of the um, logo that is so let's just get that about right maybe rotate this one a bit maybe just scale that one down a little bit let's see how this is all looking now with all out this lighting and craziness happening okay that's looking fantastic now one thing you can do to make this a bit more realistic is you can use an environment texture that's what I've got enabled currently and all you need to do is let's just get rid of this all you need to do is under surface settings just go change the color to environment texture and open up an environment texture now if you want to use the same one I have I can put a link up I don't I can't take the credit for this one though as I got it from another tutorial I'll add a link for that which was also Lego related but it's called you fizzyprobe.hdr or you can get the Pro Lighting Skies demo which I also have which works pretty well so once we've done that the next thing to do and the last thing to do is simply create our build effect so to do this we've got our individual pieces let's just select the Lego um, font and go over to modifiers add modifier and let's select the build modifier I might just join these two mesh meshes together I'm just going to add that build modifier again so they yep that's right there's nothing there I'm going to select my movie uh, font and I'm going to select add will add the build modifier to that I'm going to change the start to 90 and the length maybe to 70 something a bit shorter now I'm going to select my two and I'm going to change this or add the build modifier rather and select this to start at 155 and the length at 40 okay and now we've just got the let's add a build modifier and let's start that at maybe 50 and give it a build length of 20 okay that is looking pretty good I might actually just change that to um, 70 okay that's pretty good now if we were to try and play this it would play really 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 slow so what you can do if you want to see or preview how your build effect is looking is go over just um, in render settings change it to your outsource your file output value to MPEG video and the encoding from Matroska to MPEG4 and save it somewhere other than temp unless you want it to be deleted after 30 days just by selecting that little box and choosing where you want to save it and go over to window uh, sorry render and hit open GR OpenGL render animation. Now this will take a couple of minutes, but you'll be able to preview exactly what your build effect looks like, and you can uh, adjust it to your liking. Basically, once we've done that, that's our finished effect. All I did for my animation was I selected the camera, and using keyframes, I moved it around to give it um, the kind of same style of building effect that the actual LEGO Movie Intro may have. So just say, for example, I'll start it up somewhere nice and close hit I, add in um, a location, rotation, scale keyframe, Go jump to frame 100 by the time my main text is finished being built and I might move that when it responds. So that's the only thing, it's a bit slow because of all the geometry. But I might move that somewhere like this and lock that into a keyframe again. And once you're happy with how your model is looking, how your um, video is looking, all you can do is go to MPEG video, um, select it back to PNG, uh, have RGB selected, and choose your save location. Make sure you've got denoising enabled under scene settings. Go down and I've got my sample set to 100, so it's a nice, um, a nice high quality image. I've got film set to transparent or that's my background rather and under performance I've got it set to 256 by 256 as I'm rendering on a GPU then you can click animation and set it to the, your desired animations length I think mine's something like 220 realistically but that's pretty much it Here's, that was a kind of long quick tip on how to create the Lego Movie 2 intro have any questions leave a comment if you'd like some more um, tutorials on Lego leave a comment Otherwise, that's just the basics of how to create it. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next video.